All right, so now that we know what a function is, we are going to look at all the ways it can be re represented mathematically. As a reminder, the definition of a function is any set of numbers where each input or x value has exactly one output, no repeats in inputs. Outputs can be used as many times. The output does not matter, just that the input goes to one of them. So let's look at these two representations on what we call a mapping. Grab my pen. So this first part is the inputs and the second oval shows the outputs or the X and Y values. If we were to name these, we would see we have one one as a point so one input goes to one, one output, two goes to one, three with five, four with three, and five with seven, which as far as I can tell, goes with our definition of each input having exactly one output. There is no repeat of inputs, but over here, if we were to list the exact same points, not the exact points, list the points the exact same way, we see 2, 7, 2, 20, 4, 9, 6, 9, and 8, 2. And we realize that this is a problem. The input 2 has two outputs. And you need to be specific about which input is violating the definition. Input two has two outputs, seven and 20. Be as specific as you can. If it is a function, the definition will always be each input has exactly one output. So now we look and we've got these tables where negative 10 goes to 20, negative 5 goes to 10, 0 goes to 0, 5 goes to 10, 10 goes to 20. With no problems that I see, it's a, def it's a function. Each input has exactly one output. This is a function. However, on the other side, 20 goes to negative 10, 20 goes to 10. To make matters even worse, 10 goes to negative 5, and 10 goes to 5. So you would be able to define, fix this. Get my pen back. Both of those issues. 10 has two outputs, negative five and five, as well. 20 has two outputs, negative 10 and 10. Be specific. Tell me why it's not a function. It's not a function because an input has more than one output. Here we look and we have five to eight, 11 to nine, six to eight, and eight to five. Check, definitely a function. And once again, when you're asked to explain, it's because each input has exactly one output. Five is only used once, 11 used once, six used once, eight used once. Inputs are what matters. So here we have three with four, nine with eight, three with seven, and four with 20. And we see that this is not a function. 3 has two outputs, 4 and 7. 
No good. On graphs, you can list the points the exact same way if that helps. One, one, two, three, three, one, four, four, and we see that nothing, no x values or inputs repeat, and therefore good. It's a function. This is a really ugly check mark fixed. Each input has exactly one output. But when we come over here, we see we have one, one, two, three, four, one, and four, four. Uh oh. Four has two outputs. The other way to check this is by drawing or dragging your pencil and making vertical lines anywhere on the graph. Anywhere on a graph. In a function, you will only ever hit one spot on the graph at a time. When it's not a function, it will fail what we call the vertical line test. And it failed because it hit two points at the same time on a vertical line. Because vertical lines represent inputs. Input values should not repeat. Uh, sequences are just always because it, they're in a line. This is number one in the line, number two in the line, number three in the line, four in the line, five in the line. And your spot in line is your input. So any sequence that you're ever dealing with is automatically and undoubtedly a function because you don't put anybody in the same spot in line. Equations, to be honest, think about your function. Oh, come on. I fix my pen again. Apologies. Your function, your function families, because anything else, basically any time where y values could repeat or could be, re, you know, could be doubled, those are the problems. But if you follow your function families, you will always recognize a functional equation. And finally, real world scenarios. We've already done the vending machine and we've already done secret codes. But let's make four puppies. We can have Fido, Rufus, Bob and Muffin. And we have three families, the Smiths, the Jacksons, and the Fullers. So we said one puppy goes to the Smiths, that can be Fido. And Jacksons take Bob. And Rufus and Muffin both go to the Fullers. Again, it's totally cool that this family adopted two input puppies. It would not be cool if we took one puppy and cut him in half and gave him two families. That would be bad. But on this side, a football game. So here's the football game. And it's being shown on TV one, TV two, TV three. TV4, that one football game, has so many outputs, it is not a function. Puppies going to one home, function. Football games being shown all over the world. Not a function. 
Just a money maker. Hope that helps. There it is. See you for now.